said it's dinner time and time for another creative day using Stampin' Up! Flower. Hello, my name is Kathy Haynes. Today we're going to be using this adorable counting sheep and counting sheep dies, the sheep dies, that you can get absolutely free by placing a $100 order before September 3rd because right now it is celebration time. So let me grab this and celebration, we're coming to the end of it, it ends September 30th. But there's so many things that you can get free with a minimum $50 purchase. And then the sheep, you can get the stamp set for a $50 purchase. And then if you spend it hundred or $50 more, you can get the matching dies. So absolutely free. Um, until September 30th. So hop over to my website. It'll be listed in the description below and take a look at that and don't delay. So we're gonna make this really cute sheep card and it's gonna be a birthday card. So let me keep this stamp out. It says, so glad it's your birthday. Put that right over here. And isn't that adorable? Okay. So, and these dies come with it. Let me see the dies so I can show you. It comes with so many cute dies. I put mine on magnet sheets, but it comes with the clouds, with the flag, the balloon, the sun. These can be used and we're gonna use them for um, clouds and or grass mounds or dirt mounds or whatever you want them to be. And then the three sheep and this really cute fencing that I know I'm gonna be using a lot of. So, or in a lot of cards. And then I'm also going to be using um, my, uh, the die set, the Forever Ferns bundle. The dies are my staple. So I use this a lot. There's a ton of leaves and foliage in that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now all the dimensions and the score lines and everything will be listed below. So you don't have to pay attention to those right now but basically this is our start okay so like I said that's all going to be listed below for the sake of time um, we're just going to have it ready but we're just scoring at these lines and then cutting from there to there and this is a longer sheet of paper it's 12 inches so we're scoring at two in a quarter, one and a quarter inches, and one and a quarter inches, and then all the way at four. At six inches, we're just scoring from here to here, and then this is eight inches. And then we're cutting from two inches to four inches, two inches to four inches, all right? So that's our base. So the first thing I'm going to do, I think we should just color our sheep. And these sheep are adorable. And I've gone ahead and colored two of them for the sake of time. But I just want to show you how I've colored them. And I liked using the, um, some people use gray. I liked using the light crumb cake. And all I did was I simply color around the edges and where those lines are. And they make it easy for you to know where to color. So I remember when I was young, coloring was like so much fun. To get a new coloring book was amazing. The new crayons, sharp crayons, and the Crayola brand, oh my gosh. And nowadays, I, I don't see anybody coloring in coloring books. And I have a lot of grandchildren, and but they do everything electronically now. They can color electronically. They can do just about anything electronically. So that's what I did with the um, light crumb cake. And then I took dark petal pink, and you could choose dark or light. Ivory would work too. And I did the face. See how simple this is? Now some of you are colorers, and you know how to shade and all that, but with this one, I just didn't think too much shading was necessary but you could always go back in and make them fancier. And then for the hooves, I'm using light smoky slate. 
and I just want to do, I don't want to do all of it, just kind of give it a little bit of color. All right, so how does that look? Pretty cute, huh? Then the next thing we had were hats. So I've already colored my hats and I just colored the dots. I, I just didn't want it to be too difficult because there's a lot to do in this card. All right. The next thing I did was my balloon. And isn't this balloon adorable? So I used, um, I like to put window sheet below me and I used our blending brushes and the cherry cobbler. Just a little bit stamp off and just did up my balloon. And I like that uh, the uneven shade. And then I'm gonna take my light crumb cake and just do the line going down the string. So it pop, there we go, and then my, my balloon is done. So I have all my pieces cover, colored. Now we can go ahead and build. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I just used it in another video too, so I'm not gonna bring it out again, but I'm using the Ombre DSP, the six by six that I got in the last celebration. I got like three sets for free because I loved it so much. So I'm using that up this month, not using it up, I have a ton but I've already cut these pieces for my panel. So I'm gonna put a piece on the first panel and the fourth panel. So let me get this. I'm gonna start with the green. Let me put my colored pieces up here higher so we have some work room. All right. And I'm going to use glue that you could use adhesive runner whatever you have and these are two-sided so I'm sticking to the blue and green side go ahead and I'm really catching up on videos this week this is my fourth video and I'm just gonna put that right there right there and press okay. it's allergy season this and put it on this full panel okay. and this card is really rather easy once you've got this cut out then the rest is pretty easy fold that make sure it lines up all right and now I'm going to take and put my blue piece on top of that and there was some great ombre paper without the circles in that and I just loved it so I thought it was perfect for sky. So I'm gonna put that over it. And again, all the dimensions will be listed below. And just kind of layer it. I think I made this a little bit too big. So let me cut it down just a bit. So if you have kids, then yours might be a little bit too big also. So just cut off about an eighth of an inch. Because okay. I want some of that green in the background. And then about an eighth of an inch on the bottom. So what happens when you try to do four videos in two days. Okay, there we go. So that's good. A lot of this is going to be covered, so it's not that big of a deal. But let me see if I did the same thing here. I did. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off about an eighth of an inch down here. And then you could use your trimmer if you have it handy. I don't have mine handy, so I'm just going to hand do it. And the correct dimensions will be down below. I know what I'm doing. I just don't do what I do with what I'm doing. Does that make sense? I like the darker half on the top. Let me go. Okay. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to create the sky up here and the grassy areas down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiment side in. So let me find my sentiment. 
and I'm not putting a sentiment in it. You can choose what sentiment you want to put in it because I'm putting a sentiment on the front. Right, so I'm gonna put my, there we go. And then put this. And you could do it when it's not attached, but I want to put it attached because I kind of want to line up and see. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So I'll put that there, right on the edge. And then make sure this is straight. So now we have our sentiment in there, fold it, make sure it folds right. Now, what I did was I took a strip of cardstock, just some, um, and I want to start on this side, and I'm gonna take my blending brush and some pear pizzazz, and I'm gonna, I cut a wave. And then I'm just gonna take and lay this right like that. And just up towards the top, I'm gonna make some grass. You can pull it down as far as you want. There you go, you got some grass there. Okay. But I wanna start here so I know how high I want it to be. So it looks like it flows. I would stamp off and then okay. And that there we go. We've got some grass going on there. And you could get elaborate on that, but we're not going to do that. You can do different lay layers, make hills going on. And then I'm going to take some Coastal Cabana, Coastal Cabana, and I just want to put a little blue towards the top here, so it looks like sky. Again, you probably want to tap off, but skies are crazy. They do whatever they want to do, so there are no mistakes. goes away and now I want to take you have a piece like this that I told you could be a sky could be a cloud and or it could be a um, grass so I've decided to do one of each so I'm going to put Tombow on the back of each piece I think I'll put my cloud over here, line it right up to the edge, and then I put my grass right down here. All right. And then they have this cute little stamp. It's a grass stamp, so I do want to take advantage of the little grass stamp. Before I do that, let's get our coastal cabana out again, because I didn't do the um, sky over here. So tap off and then and kind of bring it down. And we could do clouds. I mean, you could go way out with this, but I wanted to keep this kind of simple because the other card I just finished was super difficult. So I want to kind of make something a bit simpler. All right, now I'm gonna stamp up. I'm using Old Olive, and I just thought a few places would be good. Maybe up here on this hill, down here. Okay, I'm gonna kind of push too hard, so be careful. So as much grass as you wanna put on there. Now we're gonna do the center panel right here, and that is done with the ombre paper. Right like that. The green ombre. I really wanted to use that up. 
it's so pretty. And when I do workshops, I have to make a lot of kits. So I have plenty. And I'll add that right up to the edge. Put that down there. And then I'm going to put the other side on. And I'm just going to make that right there. And I'm putting the lighter in the middle. Right to the edge. Make sure you can fold it. Okay, now push it out, push those in. We've got our card going on. All right. All right. Now this is where I'm gonna put my um, sheet dancing around. So I'm gonna start by doing my fencing. You always gotta put the fencing up before you do the goats or the goats will get out. I know that. And these are sheep, but I have goats. So I'm gonna take my mini dots and I have these all upside down and I'm gonna blow them up with one in the middle. You just wanna make sure they don't, you can't see them. There's one. Here's the other one. I just think this fencing is so cute. I can see using it quite often, especially this farmhouse is so trendy right now, farmhouse style. So everybody would enjoy getting a farmhouse style card. And sending encouraging cards right now is so important. A lot of people need a lot of lifting up, so. Now on the first one, let's see if I got that off. To the left, I'm gonna put the, the extra post facing to the left. My hands are sticky, so I should get out my pick a tool to do this. But I'm gonna line it up right with the bottom and I can hang down just a little if I want. There we go. And then I'm gonna have the same thing, the post going to the left the whole time. So. All righty, here we go. Now this one, you're gonna to wanna to fold it in half. So put it here, put it there, and push. Now bend it up and fold it in half. Isn't that cute how it just goes around the edge then? All right, and then we're gonna put the last fence on. Can you see how fast this card is? It looks a bit tedious and it's really not. Although I like spending time. Okay, now this one you want to make sure you lift that up because it cannot go past that. So there we go. You can tuck those under. There we go. I like them tucked under. There we go. You've got your fencing. Now let's go ahead and add our goats. And I'm going to use regular size dimensionals for each of my goats. So this one I call the walker, because he's just walking along. And I, they're not goats. I have goats, so I'm gonna call them goats. They're sheep. So I'm gonna put him right here, so he's walking towards the grass. And then I'm gonna take the dancer. I call this sheep the dancer. And I'm gonna put two, but towards the bottom because she's gonna, her head is gonna hang over this edge here. And I'm gonna have her right about dancing on the fence. Well, this time it didn't hang over, but that's okay. Her hat will hang over a little bit. I kinda like that three-dimensional. And then this is the jumper. So I'm gonna put my jumper 
right up here in this corner and she's going to go off the edge so let's see how that works and the trick is not to be able to see her so that's perfect what do you think so far now we're going to give them each a hat and i've already colored their birthday hats because this is a birthday card so if you're not making a birthday card then you can skip the hats but mine is a birthday card and i've already colored the little dots so give her the orange hat Oops. All right. Cheap pie. There. It's not a drinking party, so their hats have to be on straight. Okay. The walker a hat. There we go. So now all our goats have hats. The next thing I did was I took the foliage from the Forever Fern. And I just put it wherever I wanted it. So it's your yard, your farm. You decide where you want your bushes. So I thought it looked like it needed some right here. And then I can cut some more. Let's see. Let her pick this way. And I'll put some behind the walker. It's kind of in there like that. What do you think? There we go. And then just a little piece maybe over here in this edge. begin with my landscaping. All right. Now the dancer has her little balloon that we've already colored. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue on the bottom half because her balloon is going to go up in the air. So I'm going to put a dimensional right on the back of the of the balloon because it's actually going to attach to the first panel but stick to her hand okay so you don't want it to stick to the back panel you want to have that little space right there so right from her hand straight to the balloon and the last thing we have then is the little banner that says happy birthday let me put my lid on my glue and pull out the stamp. Got my memento and my block. birthday. Now I want to bend this a little bit. And how I like to do it, so it gets a little bit of a bump, is I put a dimensional here and then I put Tombow that I just put away right on this edge. Kind of gives it a three-dimensional look. It right there on the edge and press it. And bend that up and then we're done. What do you think of that? Oops, she's losing her hat. It's a windy day. Okay, well that is our card. 
I mean, the trick to it is to be sure to um, use your bone folder and really score your edges so it lays flat. This will fit in a regular sized envelope. And there you go. Isn't that a cute? I just love these sheep. So if you want these sheep, hop over to my site at journeytime.stampinup.net. There'll be a link listed below. I also have all the dimensions and some of the product that we've used um, linked straight to it. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of my upcoming videos. And I have three coming out this week. So I hope you enjoy them. I appreciate you taking this journey with me. And we will see you, see you next time on another creative journey. Thank you and have a great day.